Hello everyone, it's Aicha and welcome to another video. I'm going to be talking about the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 collection. This is a collection recently launched, available now at charlottetilbury.com. 11 different lipstick shades, they're all named after 11 different celebrities. It is refillable, you can mix and match any shades into any lipstick tube. This collection is in with collaboration for Women for Women and International, and Charlotte Tilbury has pledged 1 million pounds off of the sales of Hot Lips to this charity. Women for Women International is a charity organization that essentially provides social and economic empowerment programs for marginalized women. It looks like they work primarily in the Middle East and Africa, and they state that they've been around for 25 years and have helped more than 478,000 marginalized women affected by war and conflict. So I think it's important to point out that when you're considering buying these lipsticks, you actually cannot choose your tube. You actually have to pick the shade that is assigned to that design. So for example, if you really want the Red Hot Cheetah print, you need to either purchase the shade Dance Floor Princess or Patsy Red. However, when you go to choose a refill, you can swap out the color within the tube for the refill and you can do that with any of the shades. These lipsticks retail for $37, that is USD, and the refills are retailing for $25. Okay, and with all of that out of the way, let's jump right into the unboxing. Hi everyone, it's Aichan coming at you with another video today. I'm going to be unboxing the Hot Lips 2 Charlotte Tilbury collection. It just arrived like this in a little box via FedEx on my doorstep. I took the shipping label off and I'm just going to open it up for you. I don't own any Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, so I'm pretty excited to see what the buzz is about. Let's open her up. <gasps> Ooh, oh, <laughs> ooh, ah, beautiful. This is how it looks when you first open it. This is very reminiscent to me of doing the Chanel unboxing. It has custom packaging and it says Charlotte Tilbury with the logo. I assume this is receipts and everything. Yep, so return label. Let me see if there's anything in special in here. I don't think there is, no. Oh, pretty, ooh, it's soft. It has a very nice feel to it. Let's open it like this. Ooh. Okay, I like this tissue paper. I think for the sake of the environment, I think I'll probably save this tissue paper for some kind of birthday gift in the future. Here's the contents, securely packaged in bubble wrap. Here are the three. So I got two different shades and one refill in a third shade. Pardon the blister on my finger, by the way. I was doing yard work the other day and gave myself a blister. I ordered also two samples, Wonder Glow Soft Focus Beauty Glow Primer and Charlotte's Magic Cream. Okay. So these are the three shades that I picked up. First, the Hydrating Clear Lipstick Moisturizing Lip Conditioner. This did have a celebrity name associated with it, Enigmatic Edward. Panthers on the outside, really beautiful logo. This is um, embossed, so like it's imprinted in the gold, it's very pretty. Ingredients, bottom, and the top. I think we just need to get to opening this one. I'll just take my nail and slide it in there. See if it doesn't come out this, this way. Oh, I push it out. So once you break the seal, oh, it just, oh my goodness. Let's try that one more time so it doesn't just fall out like that. <laughs> once you just push that and push it out, then it comes out like this. That's gorgeous. I like that the design on the case is replicated throughout the packaging. The attention to detail, I love. So there's that. Here's the case. So I got the moisturizing conditioner all uh, because I wanted this package very much. I thought it was gorgeous. Look at these panthers. They have green eyes. It has a nice weight to it. It's weightier than all my drugstore lipsticks for sure. Beautiful logo right here. Enigmatic Edward. Here's the top. Something that was pointed out was the fact that 
since these are refillable, but you can refill them with any shade that you want, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to put the sticker on the bottom. I agree with that. Lightly kind of pushing on the sticker, I think you'd be able to peel it off, but still it's kind of silly that you would put the sticker on the bottom of a refillable case. All right, let's open the lipstick. Looks like that. And slides up like so. And I believe to take out the lipstick, you pull out like this. And it pulls out very easily. It's not too hard. And here's the inside. And the bottom of this. And it just goes and pops in like that. It has a nice smooth action. It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like you're holding metal, but it feels like a very sturdy plastic. If they had wanted to amp up the Luke's factor by a little bit, I think they would have used something that feels even heavier because I feel like it's supposed to, but it's still, it doesn't feel cheap. You're not going to be able to see this, but I'll swatch all these on my lips, I promise. Just a little bit of shine. It doesn't have a scent. This is gorgeous. I really hope the camera is picking up the color on that. All right, well, that's beautiful. Next, this is the Viva La Vegara. I absolutely love the stripes on this one. I think it's beautiful. I wanted to try their Matte Revolution because the refill that I got is, I think, just their regular formula. Here's the side. Here's the top. Here's the bottom. All right, so same thing. We will... Oops, I'm just taking it off. There we go. I guess you can just take the sticker off of the box. I wonder if that means you can take this whole sticker off of this box. Oh, look at that. The entire sticker comes off of the box. I can push it out now. Do Oh, so beautiful. This is just gorgeous. This just so pretty package on this is amazing okay this is the Viva La Vergara the bottom it's the side I think the pattern on this is art deco and it's beautiful open it up ooh that's a nice rich shade that's a statement shade for sure oh that's so cute that lip on the side this one also comes out very easily something that I notice about it is that there's a sl ever so slight wiggle so when you're putting it on you'll probably feel that slight give in and out don't know if that's gonna bother you or not but it's just something I noticed so that's beautiful I wonder if the other one has that let's look Let's look at Enigmatic Edward and see, does he have an imprint on the side? Nope, no, no imprint. All right, back to you. I really, really hate ruining the top of lipsticks. It makes me so sad, but for the sake of science, oh, it makes me so sad. Here we go. Ooh. That's beautiful. That was two swipes. Look at that. It doesn't feel super dry. I like matte lipstick, so we'll see how that swatches. And then, oh, for color reference, I typically am a gonna be in the fair category, sometimes fair to medium shade category, typically with neutral undertones. All right, last but not least, let's open this little bitty refill, the Kissing Formula, Fallen from the Lipstick Tree. This is Glowing Gen. Oh, yeah, this one I can open up. Oh, itty bitty. Oh, and it comes with a little protective case, a little protective Charlotte Tilbury, Tilbury logoed case, which I presume you can just, yep, you can just pull that off and twist up. Ooh, I like that color. Oh yeah, it comes with the logo, the little lipstick logo. I wonder if this is 
on all of them. Let's put this into this one. Now I have Glowing Jen inside the Enigmatic Edward case. And you could take this and store it if you wanted. That's actually a cool idea. I like that a lot. All right, let's swatch a -roo. That's very pretty. These are very similar shades to me. I'm sure they'll swatch differently on the lips. You can see that this one has a little more red. This one has a little more berry. They're both pretty though. And this one you can see is drying matte and this one still has a sheen on it. Gorgeous. Love that. Put Enigmatic Edward back in its case. Close the lid on this. Put it back in its package. Oh, look at the little star detail on there. Put this back in its package. This one as well. And this one too. Okay, there you have it. Enigmatic Edward. Viva La Vagara, Glowing Gen. Those are the three shades that I have. I think it's time to swatch them on the lips. Let's go have some fun. So here I am swatching the three shades on my lips. I start out just bare lips. Lips are dry, no moisture on them or anything like that. I haven't even had actually some water to drink, which is very bad. <laughs> First of all, I applied the shade, or I should say the moisturizing lipstick, Enigmatic Edward. It is a nice moisturizer. I think that the benefit of probably the moisturizer in this one is it does feel very long wearing, like it's going to um, really moisturize the lips and not just look shiny and pretty for an hour or so and then go away. Probably feels a bit like a very soft Burt's Bees to me. I love the lipstick tube that comes with it, so definitely happy with this purchase. The next one that I tried is the shade Glowing Gen. This is a neutral for me for sure, a kind of a my lips but better moment. Something that I noticed and I'm showing you here is that the shade is actually imprinted on the side. I took the moisturizing lipstick off of my lips because I wanted this to be on bare lips. So if you see a tiny little piece of lint, I'm sorry, that is me, that is me, that's not the lipstick. This formula, again, very creamy, smooth, beautiful, no complaints about it. So after thoroughly cleansing my lips and blotting them dry, I went ahead and swatched the last shade, Viva La Vagara. This is their Matte Revolution. It's called a lustrous, modern matte, long-lasting lipstick, cashmere cream texture, soft matte finish, enriched with papaya and orchid extracts. Uh, it is a little bit more fussy, it's darker, it's richer, it's matte, so with me just trying to apply it without a good mirror, because I was trying to see what I was doing and stay in camera, it was a little difficult, and I had to go in afterwards with my hand mirror and really touch up the edges. You can do this without a lip liner. I achieved fantastic results without a lip liner, but it probably will be easier if you do a lip liner in advance for this particular shade because it's darker and it's matte. After I let it dry down, this is about 10 minutes after initial application. I thought it looked beautiful. It still feels comfortable. It doesn't feel drying for me. It feels really nice. It's not transferring onto my teeth. I also did a coffee test. I needed my coffee this morning, so filled up my cup. Here's my favorite Pusheen mug, and I took a drink, and you can see the transfer of the lipstick onto the mug. So all in all, what are my thoughts about this? As a new consumer of Charlotte Tilbury makeup in general and of the lipstick, I was very pleased with the purchasing process. Uh, shipping was super fast, very reliable. Love the packaging. I think it's amazing and such a nice touch. I really like the individual packaging. All the attention to detail is gorgeous. The details on the bullet tube, on the lipstick itself is lovely. I think that the swapping out mechanism works really great. And I'm actually really excited about purchasing more refills. The initial thoughts are that I, I am very impressed. So all in all, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, you will consider subscribing. I do plan on making about weekly videos on different topics from art to makeup to toys, things like that. So if you like this kind of thing, enjoy the music and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.